woke up in cold sweats because I invested so much time in my prototype, and when it didn't work, I started from scratch. I came up with another concept. I'm still gonna use gravity to raise and lower the desk, and I'm gonna incorporate a counterweight. So glad that I did this because it took uh, no effort to tip this over whatsoever. Freddie's desk has nothing to do with CB2, not to mention the fact that it's proportioned all wrong. Even when he's standing next to it, it makes him look like a little boy in front of a giant treadmill. I mean, this thing is just all kinds of wrong. So how do you put a monitor and stuff in there from a weight standpoint? I mean, it goes on here. I know, but when you're standing, how does it stay? How does it stay? Oh, you mean how will it, like, lock? Yeah, I'm, index pins. I just haven't done them yet. Freddie's proportions are out of whack. Plus, who wants something that's that angular? It's not at all inviting. Stuck. And with all the hardware showing, the slides on the sides, it looks half-assed. I'm kind of glad, because that's how I'm going to beat him. You have one hour left. Oh, you're killing me. I've been working with that mechanism for so long, it ends up pushing me over the edge for time. At this point, I'm just throwing the upholstery on. Being on a couch? Yeah, you know, I, th I thought I'd go away from the challenge. <laughs> Might make more sense. I don't think upholstery is the right thing to use on a desk. You don't sleep at a desk, you work at a desk. Lacey is screwed on this one. Screwed. There's 15 minutes left and your time is done. My piece is done, and it's not looking good for Lacey. Freddie's having a little bit of trouble. Jory's running around like a madman as usual. I'm feeling good about this. Come on. There's only six minutes left, and I need to thread this wire through my handle. My hands are shaking too much. If I go over on time, I might as well kiss my own ass goodbye. Breathe. 